What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the FormSpark form creation platform and its different features. So FormSpark allows you to create professional forms and you have full control over them, as well as you can integrate them with lots of platforms, such as with email, Slack, and other platforms. Now, you need to go to formspark.io, that's their website, and you'll land on their homepage right here. Here, they tell you that they connect to lots of uh, platforms, such as Zapier, Make, and others and you have full control over the look and feel and performance of your forms, you can let take, uh, FormSpark take care of any other complicated tasks, and they have solutions for everyone. If you are an agency, freelancer, developer, or marketing team, you can find the tools that you need here. Now, you can start here by clicking on Collect Submissions Now, or click on Try for Free, but we are going to do so in minutes. Now, um, here you can see that they are trusted by many companies, amongst them some big names such as Cisco, TED, and others. And here you see that you need no servers to manage. You have no database to handle. They do all the heavy work for you and no APIs or framework to learn. You can, if you are a coder or you know how to code, you can use this JavaScript uh, to leverage the uh, workflow, but it is not required. So if you scroll down even more, you can see some tools here or some features, some benefits of the platform. You can integrate the form directly in your email inbox or with online dashboard and you can easily export your data to a csv or json documents or files you can send submissions as a new slack messages which is pretty cool to keep track of the form submissions you can integrate with your favorite tools as we uh, saw now here you can customize your forms customize the redirect url success page error page email template and more you can have out of the box modern design to have the look of your form as you like you can translate into many languages and you can have also uh, spam protection using reCAPTCHA and other tools. Now, scrolling down even more, you can collaborate, you can invite team members to your workspace to manage your forms with you and you can create and su view submissions as a team. Now, um, here you can try it for free, but let's look at the pricing pretty quickly. So if I click on pricing here, you can see that you have two plans, the free plan, which is of course free which allows you up to 250 submissions unlimited forms and unlimited team members and if you are willing to upgrade you can upgrade to the premium plan or the paid plan which is 25 dollars one-time payment so that's pretty cool it allows you up to 50,000 submissions also unlimited forms and unlimited team members so um for this video let's get started with the free version so try for free you can sign up with google slack or github or with email so I'm going to sign up here with email, enter my email address, and then continue the sign up process. Okay, so here is my email address, now create. Now they sent me a, an email to my inbox containing the sign in link. So I'm going to my inbox pretty quickly to check it. And once I opened my inbox, opened the email sent to me by FormSpark and clicked on the link in the email, I'm now redirected to my main dashboard. So the sign up process was pretty easy and straightforward. And here I created a workspace that is called work. So in FormSpark, you create workspaces. So these are the uh, like space where you have all your forms. So I created a workspace for work. Let's say I want to create a new workspace for personal uh, projects. All I need to do is to click on these two arrows right next to the workspace name, which allow me to switch between workspaces or create a new workspace. So let me create a new workspace and I'll name it personal. Okay, so this is a workspace for my personal projects. Okay, create. And right after I create a workspace, they asked me to create a new form. So I named it test. Here I can add a description. So this is a test form. And here I can select the technology that my form will depend on. So HTML, Hexo, Hugo, or any other uh, platform. So let me say I use HTML. Okay, create. And now this form is now created. So I can easily switch between the workspaces. So if I want to go to the work workspace and add a new form here, I can create a new form easily right here. So let us go back to the personal workspace. And then here in under forms, I have the test form. So let us check the other options pretty quickly before we dive in the form options. Here I have settings where I can control the settings for my workspace, change the name, like add a voucher if I have one. I can delete the workspace, I can add new members into the workspace, so I can invite my team members to help me run the workspace or my account. I can invite them right here, add their name, their email, and my name, and send an invitation. Of course, now I only have myself as an admin, I haven't added anyone yet. 
And after that, I have the purchase submission. So the free uh, version allows me up to 250 submissions. And if I want higher than that, up to 50,000 submissions, I need to pay or subscribe to the pay plan, which is, as I told you, or as I showed you, a one-time payment of $25. So let's go back. And now let's go to the test form right here. And these are the options that are related to the form. I can view all the submissions that anyone have submitted to the form here. And I have the form ID generated. Of course, these there are no submissions as of yet because no one I haven't finished creating even the form and no one has filled it. Here I have the analytics. So all the data insights and analytics that are related to the form total, they can show you total form submissions, remaining workspace submissions, submissions by day, or by week, by month, and by country, or here like uh, on a map, so a regional uh, submission where you can know or see in a visual way in which countries have the people have submitted your form. Okay, and now I can view the export settings. I can export my form in a CSV or JSON file, as we saw earlier on their homepage. I can uh, even specify which uh, submissions I want to export. So if I can set a start date and an end date, and I want only to export the submissions between these dates and create the export. And there are no exports yet that I created. Here I can view the settings where I can add or edit the name of the form, edit the description, add email notifications. So add emails for people who uh, are getting notified once this form is uh, filled. I can enable or disable email threading. And here they actually generate a webhook URL for my form and a Zapier key that I can copy to integrate with this Zapier. And I can even connect my Slack channel in order to receive a notification, a Slack notification, a message notification on Slack once someone fills my form. I can add a custom honeypot, custom spam words. So uh, for example, uh, these were, if someone filled in these words, they will be specified as or uh, recognized as spam. And I can add a spam protection, so a uh, bot poison, Google reCAPTCHA. So let me add, for example, Google reCAPTCHA. And here add a reCAPTCHA secret key. And then edit the technology. I selected HTML earlier. I can edit it if I want to. And then save the changes. So let's click on save. Okay, this field is has not been set. So let's just add test some random uh values and now the settings for my uh, form are now edited and lastly we have the how to so they tell me here the steps that i need to do first i need to set up my form action attribute to the following value and they even uh, generated to me here which is which match the form id so submit dot submit dash form dot com slash my id here the form id and then i need to make sure all form elements have name attributes make sure uh, my form contains button with the type attributes set to submit so the person can click on it to submit and here I can select a template uh, or the form type if it's a contact form where people just fill in their contact information a survey form an emoji satisfaction emoji rating or an emoji thumbs up and down so let me set it to emoji satisfaction form and pay attention to how this code will uh, appear right here. So they generate the code for my form here, the markup code for my form. If I change it to emoji satisfaction, as you can see, the code changes to match the type. So here they give me four options. Uh, so let's say, for example, you rate how you are satisfied with the service or product that uh, I sell, for example, or I provide. Uh, you love it and here the emoji with hearts. And if you are happy, if you are neutral or if you are unhappy. Of course, after you copy this code and uh, to embed it, you can change the values or you can change the word instead of love. For example, you can say awesome instead of happy. You can say satisfied or you can change however you like. So you get the idea. And of course, you need to know how to code in order to edit the code. So I do recommend if you are a beginner and no, don't know anything about coding to keep the code as it is. Do not mess with it or else it can easily uh, get ruined. So uh, here it is. That's basically it and here i have the contact option i can contact them and the guide if i want to learn more about how to use the platform and how everything works so uh here if i click on guide i'm redirected to the documentation where i can read all the documents about any uh step in the process so the setup installation spam protection others customization dashboard and everything so uh that was pretty much it
a quick overview of the Formspark form creation platform and how you can use it to create form for your business.